Once again, good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to Rensselaer in Houston Fieldhouse for tonight's ECAC matchup between the Raiders of Colgate University and your engineers of Rensselaer. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First, the visitors from Colgate, starting in the goal, number one, Mitch Benson. On defense for the Raiders, number two, Paul Meyer. And at right defense, number 11, Nick Austin. The starting forwards for Colgate. At left wing, number 22, Tyler Jensen. At center for the Raiders, number 21, Tyler Penner. And at right wing is number 16, Griffin Lund. The rest of the Colgate Raiders and their head coach, Don Vaughn. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the engineers of RPI. Leading your engineers on the ice tonight, please welcome the junior engineer, Tucker Alex. Starting in the goal for RPI, a freshman from Cambridge, Ontario, number 31, Owen Savory. At left defense is a freshman from Bloomington, Minnesota, number 23, Jake Johnson. At right defense, a junior from Toronto, Ontario, number 24, Will Riley. The starting forwards for the engineers at left wing. He's a senior from Duluth, Minnesota, number nine, Mears Moore. The starting center, a junior from Phoenix, Arizona, number 17, Todd Burgess. And at right wing, a junior from Avon, Connecticut, number 12, Chase Zeke. The rest of the engineers, their head coach, Dave Smith, the assistants, Dan Jewell, and Chuck Weber. We direct your attention now to Center Ice. National Grid Foundation has joined RPI, launching the Shoot for the Stars program, designed to motivate elementary school students by rewarding them with tickets to Rensselaer men's and women's ice hockey games. At Center Ice tonight, student achievers from the Troy City School District City of Troy Mayor Patrick Madden, Rensselaer County Executive Steve McLaughlin, and the Associate Vice President of Student Life and Director of Athletics, Dr. Lee McElroy. Also joining them, Colgate Men's Assistant Captain Bobby McMahon and RPI Men's Hockey Captain Tommy Grant. This program rewards students for outstanding achievement and community service, and we'd like to thank National Grid Foundation for its support of our youth and community. Let's have a nice round of applause for these great students. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise as the RPI Pep Band will play the National Anthem of Canada.
Now we direct your attention to the area in front of the visitor's penalty box where Raffi, the singing jeweler, will sing the national anthem of the United States of America. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home. Six and two in ECAC hockey play. Before we get started with this one, we'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides funding for WRPI and all the club related activity of the incident, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. A reminder WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org. You can pick up our broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so long as WRPI is broadcasting. We'll provide that broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that's WRPI. Dot org. Mitch, ben Mick, Mitch Benson, the easiest name to say, and I somehow did not do it, in goal for Colgate. Freshman from Windsor, Ontario. He's 6'13 and 2 overall, 276 goals against, 9'10 save percentage. For RPI, Owen Savory once again, the freshman from Cambridge, Ontario. Just 2'9 and 1, but it's 248 goals against and 928 save percentage. Not too shabby there. The one. Uh, Glaring absence from RPI's lineup is Jacob Hayhurst. We spoke with Coach Smith before the game. He is out for the weekend. As we are underway here at the Houston Fieldhouse, it's Colgate and RPI ECAC Hockey Weekend. There's a big hit to start things off here by Mears Moore. He's up in that top line now with Todd Burgess and Chase Zeke. Tie up in the near corner. Puck comes free to Will Riley, junior D-man out of Toronto, Ontario. Colgate spins it back to the point shot comes in save made on the pad by Saber and the point shot by Austin another shot blocked away tip to the near side half wall engineers try to clear it out the center they do it Zeke two on two with Burgess to the slot Zeke makes a move takes a shot blocked in the air defended well by Meyer and it'll be played behind the goal picked up on the far side by Tyler Jeanson as Colgate will regather behind their own goal, lifting it out, uh, and this will hop out of play. We'll get a stoppage 58 seconds in, no score. First couple of shots of this one go to the visiting Raiders. RPI in their home whites with red pants, white helmets this year, black and red trim. Colgate in mostly maroon with uh, three white stripes on the socks and on the jerseys and sleeves. Maroon helmets as well as Arcon looks to break out of his own zone. It's Brady Whiffin, the senior from St. Mary's, Ontario, working up the boards from Mike Gornell. Taken away there by Trevor Cosgrove. And now Willie Brooks, senior from Locust, New Jersey. Tipped into the RPI zone. Now fed across behind everybody looking for John Snodgrass. 
It's picked up uh, by Josh McKechnie now in the near corner of the RPI end. Back to the point. Kept in there by Cosgrove. Behind the goal, Snodgrass trying to play it back to the point, but Colgate changing both defensemen who are standing in their own zone. And that's where they will start up from once again. Jacob Panetta. And they're offside at the line. 18-14 on the clock, first period. Don't no score. RPI and White Colgate. RPI women's hockey is in action. This evening, all those, the women's game started at uh, at 6 o'clock. It's 2 to 1 Colgate over RPI there in the second period. No goals in men's hockey action, but all those games, of course, 7 o'clock start, so not much further along than we are, if at all. Worked up the near side boards by Colgate, broken up by Tommy Lee, and now gathered up by Ferner across uh, for Hallbauer, and now up in to Colgate territory, but they've iced it. So we get a stoppage here. Engineers and Raiders tonight. And we have number 13, Cornell, and coming to town tomorrow. RPI trying to now end a three-game winless streak. Losses to Brown and Yale last weekend, and then a tie against Union, all in a hurry. It seems like it wasn't that long ago. And she has to put a couple wins together. Kept in at the point far side by Colgate. And turned around by Donovan Ott. Takes a bump at neutral ice. Nice stick handle by Halbauer. Boy, he sees something to watch. He'll flip into the corner. Just watch right around the fort checker. Across the red line and dumped it in so the engineers could get a change. Snodgrass, cross ice feet. Connection there to Bobby McMahon, one of the more dangerous forwards for this Colgate club. There's going to be a hand pass on RPI, and it's whistled down as such. 17 18 to go, first period. RPI and Colgate, uh, not much to speak of so far. Shots are 1 0 Raiders. So just the one attempt got to savoring. A couple of blocks, though, for RPI in front of their netminder. As it's picked up on the uh, near side. And shot to the far. Here's Laka. Has a man breaking his weapon in, trying to find him with a pass. Tipped in deep neatly by Leppin, and he'll chase after Nick Austin. The sophomore from St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Turned back around by the Raiders. To center ice comes Adam Dauda, a native of Bratislava. Much like his counterpart for RPI, Jacob Laka. Although his hometown is listed as Kitchener, Ontario. If you're a hockey player, that's not a bad place to be from either. Uh, but uh, I was told by Colgate play-by-play -play man across the press box from me. John told me, yeah, he's from Bratislava. Anyway, shot coming from the engineers. It's held on to by Benson. His first save of the night is a glove stop on a point shot by Shane Bear. Picked up his first goal as an engineer did bear against Harvard, his only tally of the year. Playing his eighth game, junior transfer from UMass. He was from Calgary, Alberta. Worked back to the point. Here's Tommy Grant trying to move his way in. He's wrapped up there with Jeanson. And now the Raiders turn it back around. Jeanson to center ice. Chip near side. Bear. Trying to deal with uh, Griffin Lund. And it'll be shot in by Costro from the point. Wrapping around to the far half boards. Touch pass. Zeke on for Burgess. And Moore. Moore trying to get it back. He throws it all the way through to the near corner. Burgess going to be the first one to it. He will cycle. Costro picks it up. Watched by Zeke. Zeke gives him a bump. Poke the puck away. Back to the point. Nice play there. Wrist shot coming. Hallbauer. Tick to the near side. And was picked up by Whiffin. Whiffing up the boards. Tough handle for Ferner. On for Burgess. Kind of ran into him. And it's worked back behind the goal. Raiders take over there. Shot along. Good connection to Lawn into the zone. He'll take a wrist shot. Easy blocker stop. Might have been headed wide anyway. Tip to the far boards. Worked behind the cane. Engineers have it. It's Ferner on the move. Near side, Gornel. He gets broken up in the neutral zone. Three on two if they hurry. Pass a little off the mark for Stewart. Far side. And now offside is the call. Says Stephen Drain. That's not who I have for an official here, so news to me, I have somebody else. I'll have to check the rest of the referee. Well, the referee looks good. Robert St. Lawrence and Cameron Lynch, Matt Brady and Phil Kitchener, who I have officiating this game. So Lynch and St. Lawrence are our referees, but... 
no Matt Brady night looks like. So that's a change up. And we'll have to get that uh, squared away. Anyway, 15 12 to go first period. No score. RPI and Colgate. It's shot all the way down. Uh, no icing here. It was touched. And a big hit thrown by Bowman. Penalty coming up on the engineers. As they're going to get Bowman for a hit from behind, it appears. So RPI is going to go on the kill. Just turned his back. It was an open ice hit, if you will. It was near the wall, but not into the boards. So obviously, no boarding, but uh, it's going to be a hit from behind in a two minute call. First power play chance for the Raiders here. They come in at 13.9%, 11 out of 79. RPI on the kill, 80.2%, 69 out of 86 RPI kill. Checking from behind is the call. And so we'll drop the puck here in the RPI zone. No score, but Colgate with its first power play chance. Fed to McMahon on the near side, now down low. Behind the net, this is McKechnie. Far circle. Now Austin at the near point, near circle McMahon. Watched by Samick. Far point now, top of the circle, Cosgrove. Drop pass. McMahon a drive. Save on the right pad by Savory. Now a centering feed goes off the side of the cage. It'll be swept around by Snodgrass. Back to the point. Austin's cross ice feed in the air. Bouncing puck. Settled down nicely and worked along by Snodgrass. Now a chance to clear no. Kept alive at the point. Snodgrass near side Austin. Cosgrove on the hash marks. Cosgrove will turn back towards the blue line and send it across to the far circle. Snodgrass, Cosgrove a drive, he scores. A blue line blast from Trevor Cosgrove and he picks up his fifth goal of the year on the power play. It's 1-0 Colgate with 14.06 to go in period number one. Looked like Savory got a piece of it on its way through, but there was a pretty good screen in front. Might have been McKechnie there. Or was it Snodgrass? Either way, that one snuck through along the ice, beating Savory between the paths. And if you're a goaltender on a shot from that range, it's when you want to have back. You don't want to see a puck slide through there. But visually, you might not have seen it off the stick, and that's always tough. No one to get down in that butterfly. Anyway, 1-0 Colgate on a power play goal. Raiders lead here. Puck worked out. Pass more to center. Gathered up by Ross Craig. And now it's back to Craig. Broken up and stolen away by Zeke. Chase Zeke, a junior from Avon, Connecticut. And a turn it up by flipped in deep by Riley. Behind the goal it goes. Craig shooting it near side. And now Griffin Lund to center ice. Far side connection into the zone comes Jeanson. He takes a hit. Turned around there. Burgess now off for Moore. Mears Moore circle. Shot coming. Shoulder save. And it pops out to the top of the circle. Poked at by Ott. Gathered up by Moore. Now Burgess in the far corner. He's tied up by Austin. Picked on some skates by Mayer. And carried out. Oh, Austin going to flip it along. Finishing his hit there was Burgess. He'll take a seat on the bench. Colgate on the attack. Centering feed. Backhand shot goes wide. Almost out of nothing. It was just off the bench. Henry Marshall. With an opportunity there put wide. Moore's going to lob this one in. Time to go five minutes. 54 seconds. Colgate will score by 24. It'll be shot around to the far side wall. Shots are 4-2 Colgate here. With 12.25 to go in the first period, 1-0 Raiders. Chipped over everyone's head. Shane Bear going to play it out to center. Race for the puck. Going to be picked up by Lee. Stumbling off the bench there was Craig. Now a shot coming by Bowman. He scores! Nick Bowman, his first collegiate goal. And the engineers have tied things in one. Mitch Benson got a piece of it, but not enough as they'll want to track that puck down. A hard wrister from Bowman. 
Shaw squeaked its way through the pads. Oh, that was glove side right above the pad. And Benson, much like Savory, a shot that if you're a goalie, you get that much of it, you kind of want to keep it out. But not able to hear. Bowman picks up his first collegiate tally, the freshman from Shelby, Michigan. Just what the engineers needed. You're without Hayhurst. You haven't scored. You didn't score against Union. Despite number of chances and a first period goal could cure some of those ills. Now, Gornel back behind the cage for Bear. Up ahead for Gornel. Has a man breaking his whiff and he'll carry. Whiffen has to straddle the line. Puck will hop out of play, I think. Oh, they're going to blow it dead for offside. Six one, half a dozen of the other. And credit Tommy Lee with the assist there. His first collegiate point. So the two freshmen combining for the goal. And we get a media stoppage here with 11.38 on the clock. The tight goal was scored by number seven, Nick Bowman. Goal came at 7.47, so just 13, under two Tommy minutes Lee. after Colgate took the lead. Trevor Cosgrove on the power and play. It was Bowman Shane scoring Bear. for RPI. Time of the goal, seven minutes. RPI goal by seven, Bowman, first of the season, first of his career. Assisted by 13 Lee and 27 Bear at 747. So Bear picks up the secondary assist. That's his first assist as an engineer, his seventh career. He came in with three goals and six assists as a member of the UMass Minutemen. So 1 1 game. And five scares aside as we drop the puck in a neutral zone. Win for the Raiders. Cosgrove drops it back. We'll see how RPI does in the faceoff circle without their top faceoff man in Hayhurst. And it's played along and stolen away by Johnson, who wants to skate. Four engineers hit the blue line. And apparently one was ahead of the others without the puck. So I'll have another offside. 11 19 to go, first period. A goal apiece. As we'll check on RPI women's hockey before they drop the puck. Two to one Colgate still in the second period. Shot in from center ice. Glove there by Benson. Left aside and will play on. Cosgrove leaves it behind the goal for Brooks. And now Brooks will back things off as Tour Linden puts pressure on. This is the triple L line for RPI. The three freshmen. This is lifted out of play. Leppin and Linden and Laka. That's just a placeholder name by the way. It needs a better name than that. Especially if they're going to stick together for more than a year. Face off coming up in the RPI zone as Riley shot it out of play. Drawn to the right of Owen Savory. Shots are 4 3 Colgate. And the game is tied at one. Riley behind his own goal. Poked along by Linden. Gathered up in the corner by Griffin Lund. Spins away from Tour Linden. And moved out by Lepinen. With Laka on his right, finds him there. Laka tried to make a move, gets stood up, but finds the puck again and shoots it deep. Wrapped around to the corner. Tyler Penner. And now Lund on the move. Just off the bench. Zeke tried to hit him and missed. Loose in the circle. Chopped at by Hallbauer. Picked up along the near side boards. Right back to Hallbauer. A second effort to clear. No. Penner had a crack at it. And it shot back into Raiders territory. They wave off the icing right away. It's played by Panetta. Backing up in his own zone. Jacob Panetta. A junior from Belleville, Ontario. Waits to start the breakout. Hands it off for Dowda. Panetta. Near side connection. Rory McGuire into the RPI zone. It goes offside as they say Hallbauer beat Dowda to the dot. It's not to the goal line. That's not where the, uh, for lack of a t better term, race is to. It's, if the D-man gets to the faceoff dot before the, the forward or the uh, attacking team, then it's icing. So Dowda did end up winning the race to the puck. But that ends up being a moot point. Halfway through the first period, a 1-1 game. RPI and Colgate from the Houston Fieldhouse. 
Jacob Panetta gets it back. Now he'll play it along. Ben Scharf trying to shoot it in was McGuire, and he does. Lifted for Zeke out to center. Moore trying to get there, pokes at it. Left along the neutral ice uh, territory in front of the Colgate bench. Now skated ahead by Hallbauer. Poked off his stick on the stick handle. Back comes Douda. He'll fire it in from center, gloved by Savory, and he sees fresh skaters coming on, including Henry Marshall, and he'll just hold on to it there. 9.26 to go for his period. A 1-1 game, RPI, and Colgate here. Trevor Cosgrove scoring his fifth of the year for the Raiders on the power play, and Nick Bowman equalizing for the Engineers, his first collegiate tally for RPI. And we get our uh, ice cleaning going. Only other goal in men's hockey ECAC play is Cornell has scored at Union up 1-0 midway through the first period in Schenectady. Raiders ended a five-game losing streak against Cornell last Saturday. At Lino Rank, a 3-2 overtime win night after losing to the Big Red 3-2. So you say Colgate's not playing great hockey, but they just beat one of the top the uh, Top 10, top 15 teams in the country in Cornell, although that is a rivalry game, so you can throw a few things, throw everything out the window, you could say, with those two center New York, uh, central New York schools go at it. Face off here in the off PI zone, won by the Raiders, thrown towards the goal, was blocked by a skate. Samick looking to clear it out for Whiffen, cross ice feed, hit another leg, and now Samick picks it up in his own zone. Right up the wall, gloved down by Whiffen, he's tied up. Finds Morello back for Samick, but four engineers within a 15 foot span there. Now they'll spread things out. And picked up by Morello once more. The junior from Slingerlands will move it into the zone. Benson from behind his own goal. Played to the near side for Austin. And now up ahead, Scharf. Cross, cross ice feed gathered up by Riley. He'll throw an indirect pass off the boards behind his own net for Samick. To center, too hot to handle for Gornel. He gets dumped in front of the RPI bench and a penalty coming up here as Gornel up quickly. Riley took a big time exception to that hit by McMahon. We may have more than a two minute penalty coming here as Gornel was decked into the wall. Certainly a boarding. And this is one of those instances we saw it on Saturday where the referees could look at this play. Will Riley is adamant it should be five, but of course he cheers. His interests are very much skewed in favor of RPI. The problem with Mc, uh, McMahon arguing his case as he's the captain. And he's sitting in the box right now. So a long chat. They haven't gone in to look at it yet. Now, Gornel got up quickly, but it certainly was a board. And they can... Uh, They can go look at it if they want. And they're going to. No, maybe not. He plays under review. Okay, see, they could have saved a good amount of time by just going immediately to review, because it seems like in these cases, from now on, they're going to review them anyway. So instead of huddling for a minute or two, you can have your huddle while you're looking at the replay, which you're probably going to look at anyway. But again, these referees, it, the system is new to everyone, so the, I guess the protocol, I should say, the system has been in place. The, the video review has been in place for a number of years. But, uh, uh, but instead of huddling on the ice and then going in and looking at it, if, more times than not, you're going to want to use everything at your disposal to make the right call. And so going in and looking right away would have been the preferred method here. But like I said, uh, they're still getting used to it. Maybe they, that will be what the move is to just in the future immediately go in, look at the play. And then you can have your huddle while you're looking at it. So Robert St. Lawrence went in there with Cameron Lynch and they came out with an answer. Nothing too emphatic. They're just going to tell the scorer's table. Looks like five minute major. And a game misconduct for McMahon. So. RPI with a big opportunity with 8.37 left in the first period. 
It's going to be a major Colgate to McMahon, two, McMahon nine, on top of the fact McMahon. that Colgate's going to be down a man for five minutes. He's also one of the top scorers on the team. Six goals and ten assists for 16 also points in 24 games. Uh, a game is conduct, and uh, who will be serving? We need someone to serve the penalty. Five minutes for checking from behind. Checking from behind is the penalty. 23 seconds. So a 1-1 an game, Stewart and RPI is going to go power on the power play. A five-minute major. RPI uh, on the attack. As it's played along there and cleared all the way down. Stopped there by Savory. And RPI will start up once more. They had a five-minute major against Yale. They weren't able to capitalize. See what they're able to do in their first power play chance here against the Raiders, which also happens to be five minutes. Engineers power play on the air, 11.5%, 9 out of 78, as Colgate clears again. Raiders on the kill are at 72.6%, one of the worst penalty kills that RPI has seen this year. And as it'll move all the way down once again by the Raiders. As our guy will start back up here. Burgess, far side neutral zone, near side corner. He'll carry it in. And the engineers are offside. Draw coming up in the neutral zone. 4.04 left in the major penalty to McMahon. Shot in by RPI around behind the goal. Wrapped towards the far side. Bouncing puck will be settled down there by Hallbauer. Kyle Hallbauer near side. Drive by Burgess. Blocked down. Johnson on the far side wall. Behind the net for Whiffen. Gives it back into the skates of Johnson. He's pressured there. Whiffen will whack it around to the near corner. Burgess carries it back towards the top of the circle. Down low Whiffen. Indirect off the boards to the far side, half boards Johnson. Back to the point, Hallbauer some room. Hallbauer, backdoor, oh, Whiffen. He put it wide from point blank range. Whiffen again, up top, Hallbauer. Zipped the pass, had to settle it down. Wrist shot coming, save main. It's gonna be covered up by Benson. A glorious opportunity there for Brady Whiffen. Just couldn't steer it home. He had the whole net. In that situation, you're just trying to catch it clean. And he did not. He put it wide of the cage from about two feet away. Power play continues for another 315. Now up top it goes. Ferner. Near side Grant. Far side. Laka. Now Ferner. Or is Linden over there? I beg your pardon. Ferner up top. Near side circle Bowman. Bowman waiting, top of the circle, far point Grant, near side Ferner, Ferner waiting, far side circle Linden, up top Grant, a one-timer and he hammered it wide, nears Moore, he'll wrap it back to the near point, waiting for it, Tommy Grant, senior from Sparta, New Jersey and the captain of these engineers, a shot by Bowman, he rings it wide off the glass, kept alive on the far side, half wall by Ferner, he's backed up by Linden, and it looks like the Raiders going to clear. They do all the way down the ice. Good play defensively by Paul McAvoy. Sophomore from Richmond, Kentucky. Not a lot of Kentucky kids you see playing hockey, but McAvoy is a sophomore, former Surrey Eagle in the BCHL. Engineers get the puck deep once more. Lepinen back up the wall. Here's Riley. Center blue line. Walking in Bear, far side circle, Zeke, Bear a drive, loose in the slot, backhanded out and down by Austin. Under two minutes now on the major penalty. And now it's tied up deep in RPI territory by Sharp, just trying to waste some time. Riley's got to be careful here to not take a penalty the other way. And now on comes Bear for RPI into the attacking zone. Pulls it with a point, has a man charging him sends it across to Riley up top bear looking for room far side Zeke back to bear 
Five minutes to go in the period, minute 23 on the major penalty that saw Bob McMahon to a very early shower. Now a drive, and it's blocked down, failed on the clear. That was Penner, just whiffed on it. Second effort, McKechnie's going to get it done all the way down. And it'll be stopped up by Savory. Colgate now a minute away from killing off his major penalty. Hallbauer, he'll cross the red line and shoot it in. Benson stops it there. He'll try to ring it out himself. Broken up, but picked up by Brooks. He'll clear to center. RPI trying to re-enter quickly. It's Whiffin. He'll chip it deep. 45 to go on the power play. Picked up by Gore on the near corner. Gornel back to the point. Here's Hallbauer. Hallbauer waiting. Finds Burgess, top of the near circle. Burgess on for Whiffin. And now back up top for Hallbauer. Wrist shot coming and a glove saved by Benson. He holds on there. 25. On this power play. 402 left in the period. Engineers have even the shot totals, five apiece. But uh, it's about to be two fruitless five-minute major power plays in two weekends for RPI. And they'll score here. Hallbauer steps in the one. He scores! with 22 seconds remaining on it. I guess I just had to put a little bit of pressure on here from the radio booth. <laughs> Hallbauer with a uh, slapper from above the same spot. He scored his other two goals. Middle of the slot, hammer it home. A power play tally, and it's two to one RPI. Spinetta is going to shoot this one all the way down the ice. Picked up there by Hallbauer. RPI's Ian Stewart, Joe Tanker, moving power play goal. Scored by number 28, Kyle Hallbauer. Up top, Johnson. Wrist shot coming, he zinged it wide. Penalty is over, out of the box, and out of play and goes the puck. And number 17, Ty Burgess. Ty Burgess, Stewart, Joe Tanker, moving. 33 to go in the first period and uh, a much needed for the good of the RPI High Men's Hockey Program power play goal there. As right at the end of the five minute major, they get the go ahead tally. Now to take that lead to the break is Operation uh, the next. Brady Ferner from behind his own goal. We get a penalty here for interference. It looks like Cameron Lynch is making a call away from the puck and that's one of the few calls that can be made, they're going to get Bowman, who is having quite a period. He scored his first collegiate goal, and now he's going to take a penalty here. And a lot of times you'll see that referees are maybe not looking for, but subconsciously looking for the team that was the beneficiary of a five-minute major to take a penalty not too far after the, the previous. And for all, it looked like Nick Bowman didn't make it all that difficult for him. Anyway, a power play now for Red Colgate. Try and tie this thing up. They already have a power play goal. Here he sees two minutes for interference. Time of that penalty, 16 minutes, 38 seconds. Number seven, Red Square. So, puck at center. Moved out and shot in by the Raiders. Backhanded by Morello. Couldn't get it out of the zone. He'll try the near side. Puck tied up in the corner now. And Riley couldn't get it out either. Down to high slot, walking in, wrist shot coming, blocker save, kick to the near side circle, a drive again, this time by Austin, and it's kicked out by Savory. Now Douda, top of the near circle, up top, Cosgrove, Austin, near side, Douda, and that pass uh, off the mark. Riley clears it, nearly kept in by Austin, has actually played with a high stick, and that'll draw a whistle. I didn't think it was all that high. Austin didn't either, but uh, referees did. 234 to play in period number one. A minute 12 on the Bowman interference call. Second power play of the game for the Raiders. They're one for one. Colgate with a face-off win at center ice. Here's Brooks moving in near side. He'll chip it deep. 
Two players pin off in the near corner of the RPI zone halfway through this power play. Shots are 7 6. Raiders. Jeanson tried to walk out with it. Now he moved it back to the point, but nobody home. Puck goes rolling back into Colgate territory where Panetta picks it up. Jacob Panetta. A goal and two assists for three points in 21 games for the Raiders this year. Will hand it across for Brooks. Brooks into the RPI zone off the Jeanson feed. And now it'll be Grant trying to clear it out far side. He got enough on it to move it all the way down the ice. Benson over to the Zamboni door opening to leave it aside for Panetta. 20 seconds to go on the Raiders power play. Panetta for Snodgrass. Snodgrass on the move. Walks around one man and he put himself for a teammate offside there it looked like. So we'll draw things up back in the neutral zone. Minute 34 to go in the period. It's been a back and forth opening frame. Colgate scored first but the engineers have two in a row including Nick Bowman's first collegiate tally to take a two to one lead. Bob McMahon out of the game as that one's knocked out of the air by the goalie stick of Savory but they can't clear the zone as it was whiffed on by Gornel. Penalty RPI is over now. Raiders right. still on the attack. Five skaters aside with a minute 15 to go in the first period. RPI up two to one. There's a Big time scrum going on in the, along the far wall. And out of the pile, the Raiders have it. Shot way over the top by Dowda. Kept in by Austin on the near side point. Dowda this again takes a hit off the puck. Minute left in the, in the first. Riley up ahead for Gornel. And now Lepinen crosses the blue line, pulls up at the point. Looks to move it down low, was partially broken up, and now gathered up by Austin for Colgate. Nick Austin near side flipped up the wall past everybody out comes Savory going to shoot off the glass gathered up at center engineers three on three as they move it in tour Linden top of the circle backdoor feed he had a man it was Laka but he couldn't grab the puck and now it's lifted back the other way no icing here it's played by Bear 25 seconds left to go in the period engineers have had a couple of Big time backdoor opportunities go by the wayside. One on the power play was Whiffen, and then that time Jacob Laka couldn't quite corral that pass. It was a good find by Linden. He has great uh, awareness on the ice, good uh, passing ability. Showed it off there as he found his man cutting to the back door. Back come the Raiders. Good defensive play by Grant at the horn as he broke up a potential two on one as the horn sounds. Shots are 7 6 Raiders face off 17 to 7 Colgate but the engineers have a two to one lead after one both teams one for two on the power play. During our first intermission I'll have a recap of recorded of the RPI Athletics winter uh, recap up to now and a little, bit of a little bit of a spring preview was coming up. Men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse, baseball, softball and the like. That'll be our first intermission. And with that we will step aside. It is Star Wars night here. We, we did have some. I saw a really great Boba Fett costume earlier. We'll have the uh, but uh, money machine, money grab. Anyway, it's always We're cool to see folks dress up but on Star Wars hold. night. We'll count it up and we'll we will step and aside we'll and be back with our first amount. intermission. Your score charity. once again after one period of the Houston Fieldhouse is RPI 2 and Colgate 1. You're listening Welcome to RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM. WRPI Troy. Scott Cartwell. Scott will have 60 seconds inside that money machine to grab all the cash you can that's floating around inside. Let's load it up. Scott's in there. Close it up. We'll get ready to go. 60 seconds. From right now. Remember for all your banking, insurance, and investment needs, visit Sethcube on Hoosing Street. 
or here on campus at the Rensselaer Union. Keep grabbing that cash, Scott. 30 seconds in, you're halfway there. Scott, three, two, one, time's up. We'll count up the cash. Scott will get to keep it. And Seth Q will make a donation as they always do to a local charity. Thank you, Scott Cartwell, for participating in tonight's Seth Q Money Machine Money Grab. Hey, stop by concession stands during the, between the periods. Stands are staffed by RPI athletes to raise money for their program and they thank you for your support. Hey fans, if you're thinking of si selling or buying a home, contact Jolene Morris with the Brewer Morris team at Howard Hedder Real Estate. Call them at 518-331-1579. Top sales team in Rensselaer County, so let Jolene's expertise move you.
Fans, Ryan's Wake is proud to support RPI Athletics. You should head downtown after the game and check out the pub kitchen at Ryan's Wake. RPI Hockey would like to thank the following sponsors, GE, Moe's, SethQ, CDPHP, Boucher and Clark Financial Group, Market 32 by Price Job, Yankee Trails, Red Front Pizza, Tri-City Rentals, Duncan, Toyota, CDTA, The Spokey Bowl, McCaddy's Pub, Slight and Dirty, Ben and Jerry's, Warren W. Fame, Boucher and Clark Benefits, Wicked Smart, Gathers Granola, Fryhoffers, Little Caesars Pizza, Howard Hanna Realty, RPI Chapel and Cultural Center, H2M Architects and Engineers, and Tri-City Valley Cats, all proud sponsors of RPI Hockey. Fans, don't forget, purchase your 50-50 tickets at the 50-50 table. Funds benefit the RPI swimming and diving team. They thank you for your support.
Once again, we welcome you inside the Houston Fieldhouse on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. Engineers leading Colgate by a score of two to one after one period of play. Nick Bowman scoring his first collegiate tally from Tommy Lee and Shane Bear. Kyle Halbauer picking up the go-ahead goal at 16-20 from Mike Gornell and Todd Burgess. Owen Savory, six saves through one period. Mitch Benson, Mitch Benson, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with Mitch Benson, but uh, he has four saves. Face-offs heavily in favor of Colgate and RPI without Hallbauer. You could maybe uh, think that uh, you know RPI would be a little bit under the gun as far as that is concerned, but uh, so far it's been all Raiders. Josh McKechnie, seven and two on the draw. Paul McAvoy, four and one. Tyler Penner, three and two. RPI's top faceoff uh, guys are Tour Linden. He's three and four, and Todd Burgess, two and three. Uh, so uh, when you, know, you, you don't have Hayhurst and he takes the majority of your draws, and uh, it kind of bumps everybody up one spot, like uh, like in playing without your number one in tennis, it just makes it a little more difficult all your other sentiment. But the lead is more important than winning the draws, and that's where the engineers find themselves after one period of play. Two to one is the score. And before we start the second period, I'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union for providing the funding for WRPI and all the club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. A reminder, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org. You can pick up our broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we'll provide that broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that's WRPI.org. Women's hockey now down three to one at Colgate. They're in the third period. Other ECAC men's scores, Quinnipiac two, Clarkson nothing. Princeton and St. Lawrence are tied 1-1 up in Canton, and it's Cornell three, Union nothing in Schenectady. Dartmouth and Harvard are scoreless in Cambridge. Five skaters aside as we start period number two, RPI skating from left to right. Will Riley gonna shoot it in from center, steered away from goal by Benson. Moved out to center ice, and with speed they come into the zone. Walking in, Meyer a shot, saved by Savory, and he holds on. A huge save early on in the second period, 19 seconds in. At, and it was Meyer absolutely denied. Paul Meyer, the defenseman from Edina, Minnesota, tried to shoot. Looked like he was trying to sneak that one through the five hole, and Savory with a huge stop to keep this one two to one. Face off win, again back to Snodgrass for the Raiders. Brooks gonna lob it in high off the glass behind Savory. Chipped along near side corner. Trying to turn out with it is McKechnie. Twisting and turning on Bear. Couple of shoves from Bear on McKechnie. Trickling to the near corner now, John Snodgrass. Junior from Egan, Minnesota. Cross ice feed nearly picked by Otto Ville Lapinen. But it's one back in a hurry by Crossgrove. And now he'll move it in. Crossgrove on the dump. He'll chase after it himself. Shoulder charge there with Linden. Shot off the back of the net. Crossgrove again has the lone Raiders goal. It came on the power play. Now a shot blocked down at center by Bear. Followed him all the way out to the blue line. Bear will eventually just dump it in and go off on a change. Far side corner. A tussle for the puck. Panetta and Linden work back by McKechnie. And Cosgrove will work it to the near side of his own zone. Now Marshall, he gets a bump there. Turned back up ice by Hallbauer, who has the go-ahead goal. Back to Panetta, and Colgate will reset in its own zone. Minute and a half into the second period. Shots are 8-7 Raiders, but the engineers have a 2-1 to -one lead. With speed now, McAvoy. He'll drop it off for Panetta. Near side neutral zone. Flip to the RPI line. Lob back the other way by Hallbauer. Settled down by Whiffen. Drop pass there, Gornel. Gornel backhanded to the front of the net. One save, and it's tipped out to the circle. Gornel turning with it. High slot, Mike Gornel. Drop pass, Hallbauer lost it. Just pokes it to the near side of the zone, as it could have been disastrous there. 
As Scharf nearly could have walked out of the zone with it clean, but uh, Hobart did enough to keep the play in the offensive end, giving the engineers time to recover. Tie up along the near side boards. Colgate end. Panetta cross ice feed for Scharf. Drops it on back for Ross Craig, the junior from South, uh, South Glengarry, Ontario. And now we get a whistle here. And a puck out of play. Faceoff coming up uh, at neutral ice. Seventeen forty to go. Second period. Two to one is the RPI lead. It's uh, played along by Lee. Lob back to center. Bear knocks it down. Across for TJ Samick in the neutral zone. Tipped all the way deep by Bowman. Now a chance there for Odd, ah, and he tried to walk it out in front. It took a funny hop off the end boards, and Benson had to sprawl back to his net. He was behind the cage. Ott really couldn't get enough on the puck. Try and steer it on goal. It was an open net for a good second and a half there. RPI just couldn't quite take advantage. Back in deep now. Picked up by Douda for Colgate. He'll work it up the near side. Glove down by Bear at center. He'll tap it back to Samick again. TJ Samick to the line. Broken up there by Meyer. And turned back into the zone. Racing for it is Zeke. Nice job to shield the puck there. Chase Zeke. Cycling. Meyer beats more to it. Burgess trying to pick it out of a pile there. It's worked up the wall. Kept alive by Johnson. Second effort. Johnson sweeps it right back in. Meyer there. Uh, around for Austin. Out of his reach. Now McGuire to center. Johnson being pestered there. Finds Riley who turns it up ice quickly. Will Riley down the middle. Thrown to the near side for Zeke. Zeke in the corner. Tight angle shot. And a save made. Puck trickles around behind the goal. Didn't look like much of an angle for Zeke to shoot. But it, uh, it was kind of mishandled by Benson. Now back into the zone come the engineers. They'll ring it around. Burgess near corner. Four minutes into the second. It's a play off the back of the net for Zeke. Trying to center. Jam try once. Rebound. It'll be covered up by Benson. He reached out with the goalie stick and gobbled that thing up before it could pop free. There was another engineer in the vicinity. Moore was trying to jam it in at the near post. And there was a... Looked like Burgess ready to pounce if Benson doesn't snag that thing with a stick and cover up. RPI knocking on the door, 15, 50, uh, 57 to go in the second. They already lead 2-1. to one. Shots are 11-8 RPI. Draw in the Colgate zone. Worked up the wall for Riley. He's going to walk his way in. Riley, wraparound try. Shot coming. Linden and a save by Benson again. Goodness. Both goaltenders making some big-time saves already in this second period. Riley went for the wraparound, and Linden didn't get a ton on it, but Benson had to be there to make the stop. More chances for these engineers. Linden back to the point. He gave it away. It was read by Snodgrass, but picked up again by Laka at uh, center. He'll backtrack to his own zone now. Turning up ice is Johnson. Jake Johnson, the freshman from Bloomington, Minnesota, will get it deep. Cosgrove takes a hit from Laka. Moving up is Linden. Looking to cycle. It's broken up there. Right back down low it goes. Cosgrove with the first two at four. Colgate. He'll move it to the center of his own zone. Cosgrove. Little shoulder fake. Trying to get away from Lepinen. Nice find on the far side. It's Snodgrass who dumps it in. Hallbauer. Near side corner. He's met quickly by Stewart. But the engineers maintain possession as they look to get it out of the zone. It'll be actually back to Ferner. And Brady Ferner will move back behind his own cage. Freshman from Dakota Dune, South Dakota, is Brady Ferner. All the way in on the carry. Takes a wrist shot and a save is needed from Benson. Kept alive on the far side. Nice stick handle by Whiffen. Near side by Ferner. He tried to go cross ice with a feed. There was plenty of traffic in the way, including the stick of Panetta that broke it up. Nice job by Gornel to get back on it. He throws a hit. Stolen away Morello. He'll stick handle top of the zone. Still Morello. Drop pass Ferner. Wrist shot coming. Blocker save as it was seen all the way by Benson. Whiffin in the far corner now. Engineers putting on a clinic here. 14.25 to go in the second. And Whiffin goes down, but he does enough to find Morello. Morello trying to center. Swept away out of danger 
by Craig, who was just defending the net front. Into the near corner he goes. Gornel goes down, gets back up, stays on the puck. On for Whiffen. Raiders can't sniff the puck right now. Well, Grant gives it away, and now they do break to center. Here comes Penner on the move. Pulls up, takes a shot, and a kick save by Savory. Near side corner now. Penner gets roughed up by Whiffen. Thrown up the wall to Morello. He'll stop in the neutral zone and wait for reinforcements. Tried to lift it into the zone. Half fanned on that, but did enough to get it into the Colgate end. And now turned around by Penner. Drop pass along the wall. Moved in by Scharf. And now picked up by Johnson behind the king. On for Tommy Lee. Three on threes. They cross the red line. Down the middle comes Lee. Takes a wrist shot. Easy save for Benson. And he holds on there. 15th shot on goal for RPI. Comes with 13.33 to go in the second period. Nine shots the other way for the Raiders, but no goals so far here in this period. Checking on some scores for you. Women's hockey, RPI still trails Colgate by a 3-1 score over in Hamilton. The Raiders, the number 10 team in the country. Engineers hanging tough against them. Men's hockey score updates. Quinnipiac 2, Clarkson nothing in the second period. Also in the second, Princeton 1, St. Lawrence 1. Cornell still on top of Union 3-0. And Dartmouth has a 1-0 lead at Harvard late in the first. Draw coming up in the Colgate zone. Both teams are one for two on the power play so far, but no penalties to speak of here in the second. Face-off win for RPI. Ferner walking his way in, all the way to the net, tried to jam it home, and he kind of flipped it off the pad. Nothing came of that. Benson made the save. Back behind the goal, Meyer. He'll try the far side, and now down the middle. Marshall, good speed into the zone, trying to get around Ferner. Pulls up at the half boards. Back to the point. Shot comes in. Redirected and Savory had to make a stick save. Kept in at the far point by Henry Marshall. Turning with it is Scharf. Towards the half wall. Takes a whack. Lost the handle. He goes down. Penalty coming up. It's going to be on Lee. It's going to be a hook. Or a hold. It's a hook. Third power play chance coming up here for Colgate. It's... Lee didn't need to do that. The puck was going to go out of the zone anyway. Scharf was on his way to the ice, and Lee still went up with the stick and gave a bit of a tug. One of those, if you're an RPI fan, you, you kind of wish that either E, A, Lee backs off, or, or B, they don't call it because it's really not, you know, non, uh, didn't have anything to do with the play, but... I guess if you buy the book, he got his stick up in the midsection, even if it was for a short period of time, and it's going to be a power play for the Raiders. Cosgrove behind his own net, twisting and turning, trying to get away from Tour Linden. He eventually will try the near side and shoot it up the wall. McKechnie into the zone. Back to the point, Dowda. Now Austin. They trade places. Dowda across for Austin again, top of the, or Dowda top of the circle. Down low, McKechnie looking for a feed. It's near side, Cosgrove. Cosgrove at the circle to the side of the net for Cosgrove. A shot down to with the drive, and that one's steered away and all the way down the ice. Settled down there by Benson. 12 minutes to go in the second period. 2-1 to one RPI leads, minute six on the power play. Slithering his way in as Austin pulls up at the blue line, drops it back for Dowda. Now again, Austin pulls it back, takes a wrister over the top of the net. Gornel near side, has time to clear and does all the way down. As it will be the Raiders to start over from behind their own goal. 40 seconds left on the Colgate power play. Jeanson on the move. Neutral zone, steps around Riley, flips the puck into the far corner. Stops there, met by a pair of engineers. Puck comes free to Riley, trying to clear it up behind. Chopped at by Whiffen. Whiffen will kick it to himself, trying to backhand it up the wall. Kept alive by the Raiders. Brooks across. Meyer a drive, and the rebound, or the redirection, I should say, tipped to the near corner. Could have been blocked. Might have been Whiffen over there. Back up top from Jeanson. Brooks, 12 to go on the power play. RPI up 2-1. to one. 
Here's Panetta on the near side, back up top for Brooks. Center blue line, fake a shot, a drive, and a save made, and a clearing effort, just enough to get it out. Savory, that one stung him a bit on the blocker hand as he gives it a shake. Puck back behind the RPI goal, picked up by Riley. He'll try the near side, Ott to center. Engineers kill it off, they're two for three on the kill. And it's moved in by Stewart, trying to step around Riley. Trickling it on goal, it'll be covered up by Savory. As a couple other ships come drifting by the RPI cage, Savory looks to be a little bit shaken up. He took that shot right in the blocker hand and he's still shaking it. If you're a goalie, you wear a lot of pads, but if you ever get hit where there aren't any, it surely stings. As someone who's played just a little bit of goaltender, I can relate a little bit. Nothing to the extent of what he just took there. Here's a shot in, broken up there. It'll be picked up by Moore, and he will clear to center. Drop pass there by Zeke, on from Bear. He'll ring it in. Ten and a half to go, second period. Two to one is the RPI lead. Some room at the point for Grant. Now Bear again. Back to Grant. A one-timer, redirected and got the left pad. Oh, Benson on the way through. Good clean look there for Tommy Grant, looking for his first goal since his freshman year. Grant back behind the cage. Finds Zeke. Looking along, he passed too far for Moore, kind of hopped over his stick. And that'll draw an icing call. 9.58 to go. And the second, we can't have any resurfacing here or uh, ice clearance because of the icing. They got to drop the puck. Shots are 16 to 12 RPI. Face-off win for the Raiders. Panetta off the end wall. Marshall, side of the net to the far side. One-timer, redirected just wide. A wicked redirection on the shot there by Craig. And it just skipped by Savory, who watched uh, mercifully that puck went wide of the goal. Panetta, back to his own zone. Craig, far side, they'll move it through the neutral zone. Now back into their own end. Forced out by the engineer's neutral zone pressure. Now ahead, past Henry. Tommy Grant in the corner, waiting for it. Lapin and intercepted, thrown behind the goal by McAvoy. And now here's Brooks, a shot. Deflected in the air, Marshall a crack at it. It'll be gloved down and moved out by Laka to center. Brooks trying to work away from Lepinen. Stayed onside nicely. Linden walking in. Shot coming. It went wide. Lepinen's without a stick and the puck's back out to center. Johnson near side for Riley. There's a loose stick in the zone. Picked up by Linden now. Linden walking in. A shot gets partially blocked and it flutters over the top of the net. Cosgrove trying to clear. Taken away by Cosgrove, and Trevor Cosgrove will move it out to center ice. Good connection, far side, in they come. Lund, a shot goes wide along the ice. Chopped at to center, gathered up by Whiffen. He wants to skate. Brady Whiffen on the move. Drop past Gornel. He'll walk his way in, all the way back to Johnson. Johnson, a shot, and that one's blocked down. And now the Raiders back the other way with numbers. Into the zone, near side, Penner, fan on the pass. Second try, couldn't find Lund. Back to the point it goes. Near side, Mayer. Good poke check by Gornel. And he moves it out of the zone and all the way down. Coming up on eight minutes to go in the second period. Two to one is the RPI lead. Now another fan down a pass there by Austin. Fires it in from center. It'll be left aside by Savory with the Raiders changing. Quickly up ice. Turning ahead comes Bowman. He's already got one tonight. Bowman a move. Trying to work his way in and it's poked away. Bowman. Cycling for Ott. Good hit there that time by McKechnie. On to center they come. Jeanson back for Panetta. And now Austin once more in his own zone. Austin to the near side. He'll cross the red line and ring it in. Comes down off the dasher along the far boards. Snodgrass back towards the point. Gets it back. Here's John Snodgrass. Finally finds the point. Shot comes in. Sticked into the netting by Savory. And we finally get a stoppage. 7.15 to go. In the second, back and forth action here. Almost shocking there hasn't been a goal in the second period. Shots are 16 to 15 RPI. 
They'll do some ice maintenance here. So last whistle was quite some time ago. So we'll take uh, we got women's hockey scores here somewhere. Waiting for that game to go final. Four to one is the final. Colgate number ten over RPI in women's hockey. Louisa Slander, 30 saves on the night. Lone RPI tally was scored by Sabrina Rapaci. So RPI falls to Colgate by a score of four to one. Draw coming up. In the RPI zone. One back behind the goal. Shot around to the near side and out to center ice where the Raiders take over once again. Worked in deep. First one to it. Panetta for Colgate. He takes a hit from Johnson. Comes loose to McKechnie. McKechnie, McKechnie twisting and turning. And he ended up losing the puck on his way to the net. Gornel, good connection to Morello. Jake Morello on the move. Pulls up. Near side circle in the attacking end. He'll flip it deep. McKechnie turns away from some pressure and works it back behind the goal for Ross Craig. 6.35 to go second period. Raiders look to start their breakout. Both teams are changing, so nobody in any particular hurry. Here's Ross. Near side for Panetta. Up the boards, chopped into the zone by McGuire. And Samick will work it around near side. Zeke. Up the board for Moore. Mears Moore will shoot it deep. Cosgrove there takes a hit from Burgess. Gornel, or excuse me, Moore trying to track it down. Huge hit there by Zeke. And out of the near side, Douda. He'll take a wrister, and it's held on to by Savory. And he'll hold on for a whistle. Exactly six minutes to go. Chase Zeke's not a big guy, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. 5'11", 185 out of Avon, Connecticut. Shot coming in. It's blocked down. Goes back behind the cage. Bear. And now all the way to the front of the goal. And to the near side. Back into RPI territory. Laka tried to lift it onto there. He swatted back behind the cage. Grant picks it up. Tommy Grant to center. Touch pass Laka on for Linden. Nearly gave it away, but Grant to the rescue. He'll just flip it in deep. RPI changing all five, calling for it at the far boards. They were offside as Scharf was a little bit out ahead of the play. And he didn't look like he had to. He stepped both feet over the blue line almost inexplicably when he could have just waited for the puck a little bit longer. Anyway, faceoff's going to be all the way back down in Colgate territory. That's where the pass came from. Media stoppage here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Tell you about the upcoming schedule for RPI hockey. RPI women's hockey is in action tomorrow. They are at Cornell. And the engineers men host Cornell. Easy to remember. Number 13 Cornell here at the Houston Fieldhouse at 7 o'clock. Next weekend, RPI heads to Dartmouth for just a single game on the weekend. Then they're back home again Friday the 15th and Saturday the 16th of February against Princeton and Quinnipiac. So plenty of home games to catch the engineers here in Troy. After that they head to Cornell and Colgate and then they're home again for Harvard and Dartmouth. So rest of February and into early March. Lots to play for, lots to play here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Stewart going to shoot this one in. Back behind the goal it goes. Johnson going to try and work it out the near side. He takes a hit. Puck comes free to Riley. Riley trying to clear. He can't get it out. 
And a good tie up there by Gordel. Riley works it ahead. Will Riley on the move. Far side circle. Drop past Morello. Morello holding. Turns it back towards the top of the zone. He'll take a wrist shot. Easy stick save made by Benson. Worked back to the near point. Johnson. Far side. Riley will settle it down. Will Riley. He'll take a wrister. That one redirects on his way through. Like it might have hit McKechnie on the way. And now a chance to clear for Snodgrass and does all the way down. Colgate wants to change and they'll get a, a fresh five out there. 4.23 to go. And this one, Panetta turns it around and wings it up the ice far side. And now Lund picked up by Johnson, or excuse me, Bowman. And he turned around here, Panetta. Back to his own zone for Lund, and now tipped up into the crowd with exactly four minutes to go in the second period. Shots in the frame are 11 to 9 RPI for a 17 16 edge overall. Colgate's one for three on the power play. Well, the engineers are one for two. They scored on a five minute major. Center ice, and now Marshall on the near side. He'll move his way in. Throws it towards the net. Flipped up over the short boards on the far side. Out of play. And we get another stoppage here. Lots of scoring in women's hockey today. Cornell 7-0 over Union. That's RPI's opponent tomorrow. St. Lawrence and Princeton are tied 3-3. And Clarkson is leading Quinnipiac late in the third 3-2. That's a barn burner. In Hamden, Connecticut. 3.40 on the clock here. Puck is tied up in the far corner of the RPI zone off the faceoff. And now Moore picks it up. Two on two to center. Has Zeke on the near side, uses him. Zeke trying to step through a hip check. Camp gets the puck into the corner. Near side, Moore. Back to the point, bouncing puck, knocked down by Hallbauer. He'll lift it right back in deep. Behind the cage, Zeke shielding. Takes a hit and lost it. Brooks will spin it back behind his own goal. The only one over there is Tyler Jeanson, sophomore from Carmen, Manitoba. They'll go back behind the goal and they give it away. Zeke, point, bear. All the way back to the line. His shot comes in, hit a skate, and trickles to the near corner. Wrapping around to the far side. Lund chops at it. Point. Skips by Bear out to center. Rolling into RPI territory. Picked up by Tommy Grant. Off the near side boards for Zeke. Zeke moving in. Across for Burgess. Looking for a, trying to line up a shot. A one-timer in the pass. Kind of handcuffed him. He wasn't able to corral. Now a good hip check by Bear. Knocks Jeanson out of the play. Now a great toe drag. Back up top. Shot coming. Sticked over the top of the net. A terrific move. I think it was McAvoy. Or Sharp made a tremendous toe drag and freed up a shot from the blue line, top of the circle. And I think Savory ended up getting a piece of it as it went over the top. Shots are 18 apiece with 2.29 to go in the second period. 2-1 to one still is the RPI lead here over Colgate. Face off to the left of Savory and now Linden gets tossed from the dot. Sending Lepinen in to take the face off. Against McAvoy. Johnson carries the puck behind his own goal after the defensive zone faceoff win. And we work to the near side now. All the way in deep it goes. Austin and Lepinen run into each other and fall down. And it'll be McAvoy to center ice. Throws it off the skated Johnson. Flicked along by Laka. And now a touch pass back for Jacob Laka. He'll shoot it into the zone. Faceoffs are 24-15 Colgate with now two minutes to go in the second period. Not a lot of draws to speak of here in the frame. Now given away at the RPI blue line. Left off by Laka for Lepinen. Back to Laka. Shot coming. Toe save made. He was looking for that far post. It was a well-placed shot from Laka. But he could not beat Benson with the try. And now back to the RPI zone it goes. Tommy Grant on the move. Shoots it in deep. Goes spinning in towards the goal. That puck took a turn. Looked like it was headed wide of the cage and must have been spinning so hard that it turned right in on goal. This one's kept in, wristed towards the net. It deflects over the top on the try by Whiffin. Mike Gornell now on the carry, all the way out towards the point. 
Shoves it right back down low. Whiffin in the corner. Lost it. Taken away by Brooks momentarily. Now lobbed up the boards. Stewart to center. Picked up by Grant in his own blue line. He'll chip it back up the wall. Gloved at by Gornel. Would have been a hand pass if it was an engineer to touch, but it was Snodgrass who plays it on. Panetta down the middle off the stick of Snodgrass into the far corner. One minute to go in the second period. No goals in the frame so far, but the fans here get some free stuff with the engineer's score in the final minute, so they're going to make a little more noise here, although it's the Raiders of the puck in their own zone, seemingly knowing what's at stake. And they don't want free stuff for the home fans, so they're going to hold on to the puck behind their own goal. That's awfully mean. 35 seconds left in the period. Finally, they break out. Far side, shot all the way down. This should be icing here as the stoppage will come. And some hungry students here are fixing for some free stuff. Shots are 20 to 18 RPI with 27.6 seconds left in the second period. RPI on top, 2 to 1. First collegiate goal in that first period for Nick Bowman. Here's the draw. Engineers win it. Johnson carrying down low. All the way around the net, Johnson. Back to the point. Stepping in, Riley makes a move. Riley pulls it back to the point. He'll wrist it towards goal. And the save is made. Bowman was in front looking for the redirect. Didn't quite get it. Lifted to the far side. Stolen away by Lund. He'll try to race around Riley. Lund pulls up at the half wall. Six seconds to go in the period. Looking to cycle. Pinned up there. Picked up rightly. Lifted off the boards. Out of play. And we'll have one more face-off just for fun with 0.8 seconds left in the period. Engineers had their chance late in the frame. Riley's shot. It looked like Bowman was either trying to tip it or get the rebound. Couldn't quite do either. And the Raiders were eventually able to clear it out. And 0.8 seconds, everybody lines up on the near hash marks so the phase off on the far side of the RPI zone. This has to cross the goal line in 0.8 seconds. And it goes way wide and it was all for nothing. We're through two periods here at the Houston Fieldhouse where RPI maintains its 2-1 lead over Colgate. Shots are 21-18 RPI. Face-offs in favor of the Raiders by not by uh, as substantial a margin. It was 10 after one, now it's just nine, 25-16. Just the one penalty in the period. It was a power play for the Raiders, it was unsuccessful. They're now one for three, RPI one for two on the power play. We will have some analysis, mostly just me talking to myself in our second intermission. You won't want to go anywhere for that. Also update you on some scores and uh, whatever else we feel like talking about up here. Anyway. After two periods of play, Engineers 2, Colgate 1. You're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI. Troy. Slide dirty junk of puck competition. If you bought a puck, let's come down near the boards and get ready. In three, two, one, chuck your pucks. The puck closest to center ice will win a prize courtesy of Slide Dirty.
for participating in tonight's Chuck and Puck competition. Hey fans, the Hudson Mohawk Figure Skating Club is in its 67th year of offering Learn to Skate classes right here at Houston Fieldhouse on Saturday mornings. Classes are for all ages. For more information, check out the program at hmfsc.org.
head down to the hill Musa this weekend. It's a beer garden and European staycation. You can enjoy beverages at small plates. The hill, 379 Congress Street, Troy. Proud to support RPI. February 6th is the 20th annual Spring Career Fair. Current students and graduates from all five schools will be in attendance. For information, email ccpd at rpi.edu.
By the way, that basketball scores. Their game's almost over. A minute and a half left. Engineers leading Union in men's hoops, 65-59. Raiders move it in. Lob it on goal. Glove save easily by St. Raylo underhand scoop. And he will grab a whistle just 15 seconds into the frame. There's a Boba Fett costume. It's Star Wars night here. There's a Boba Fett costume who I, I feel like if you told me that Boba Fett actually flew through all the the galaxies and obviously he's still alive. So one of the Fetts, we know he, he, he did not make it Boba. But uh, anyway, that looks exactly like Boba Fett here. Anyway, centering feed pops all the way out to the far side. Half wall be chopped in deep around behind the goal. Colgate on the attack. Sent back to the near point for Austin. He'll carry it around far side. Watched by Lepinen. Austin at the wall, takes a shot, redirected. Savory makes a stop, and they'll shovel that puck out of danger. Capped in near point. Shot coming, Myers! Saved by Savory, and he holds on there. Some desperation there by Owen Savory to keep this a two to one game. After playing so well, on Tuesday, 43 saves, his first collegiate shutout against Union. Finally has a couple of goals behind him, and he's trying to make uh, full use of the goal support he's been given tonight. Engineers trying to help him out and add another. Bouncing up the wall, played by Gornel, flipped in deep. Behind his own net is Mitch Benson. Cosgrove, far side connection. Henry Marshall to center ice. Tommy Grant, McAvoy trying to step around him, centering feed and on goal, Savory stops it. And a whistle comes, Savory was bent over at the waist. A little bit of an awkward position, he made the save, but the puck was kind of sitting next to him. And jamming away was, I think, McAvoy. Oh, it was uh, uh, Scharf, who kind of ran into him, so I don't know, even if that puck goes in, did he count it? Did, didn't, and it so was a moot point, but he got the whistle and the, the cover by Savory. Flipped down ice, picked up by Panetta. He'll go D to D in his own zone for Craig. Craig back for Panetta. Moves it in, shoots it into the near corner. Ben Sharp there. Pops free to the blue line. Panetta shot, blocked by the shin panel. Lock a second try, goes off the end boards. Here's Sharp. In the far corner. Trying to kick at it. Back to the blue line. Near point Craig. Filtering it down low. Hallbauer. Chopped at by Lepinen. Picked up by McAvoy. McAvoy walking in. And a save by Savory. McAvoy had plenty of room to work into that left circle. And took a shot from a real good angle. Prime scoring position, but he could not... Uh, Pick up his first career point, or first goal of the season, I should say. He's a sophomore. <laughs> Looking for his first point of the year. And he found the glove, a safer. Real good look by the RPI TV cameras, as always, here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Up ahead, Bowman. Stick handling. He'll chip it in. Takes a bump. Puck goes deep. McGuire. Behind his own net, wrapped near side. Waiting for it is Evan Schumi. And now Bowman in the near corner cycling. Tried to at least, it was broken up and carried out by Dauda. He'll flip it high in the air and all the way down. And it'll be icing. Draw coming up in the Colgate end. 17.33 to play in this third period. Shots are 23-21 Colgate now. So they've come out, storming out in the second period to the tune of a 5 nothing edge in shots the Raiders have. Face off, one back. To Mayer, and now they lift it out of the zone. Hallbauer. Worked along for Dowda. Burgess into the zone. Big collision and we got broken glass. Oh boy, not again. <laughs> oh boy. 
boy. Second time this year, and this is from a hit. And it was, no, it's from a skate. Was that Tommy Grant's skate? Let's make sure everyone's all right here. That was Burgess. Burgess's left skate went up into the glass. And <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to break a pane of glass. We had a puck break the S, or excuse me, the R, the half of the R and part of the S. In engineers behind the RPI goal earlier this year. Okay, and now we have a corner, a corner panel is out. So Brian Darby <laughs> has not had the best luck here this year with the, with the glass at the, what would be the, uh, the east end of the ice. That's two panels out this year. I don't remember the last time we had any pin up. Look at Mitch, Mitch Benson's helping out shovel some of that uh, broken glass and put it in the corner. Last time this happened, it was the second period, so they just uh, ended the period and had everyone go back to the locker room and did a resurfacing and, and then played an extra couple of minutes in the in the third now they can't do it we're already in the third period so there's no go back to the locker room and then and then play more I guess all you can do is have another impromptu intermission if you want they have to install the glass that's going to take a while I might try to bring Jeff on if Jeff wants to come on the radio with me he's over there somewhere we are in a stop Excuse me, a stoppage here. As uh, a pane of glass has been broken by the skate of Todd Burgess, who got upended in the corner. And that uh, has been cause for the delay. Uh, this is pretty wild. Uh, let's see. Uh, We have uh, shots of 21, 20, 23, 21. We have the folks doing uh, our the TV channels have realized it's going to be a while and they have deadlines, so they're going to head out of here. That's all right. RPI trying to hold on to a two to one lead. Seventeen thirteen left on the clock here. We're in a delay as they are scooping the uh, broken glass out, and they're going to take out the uh, connecting panel, the connecting little uh, plastic piece that holds the boards together. Well, we do have uh, one of our broadcasters is here, and he was interning for the TV station, Joe Pizzicano. So I see if we can get Joe on or Jeff on. Someone can say something to me. I'm trying to get their attention. What else do we have? Where is he? Joe. Just stand there. Just stand there. You can just stand there. You can just stand there. There. You're closer. You're closer to the ice now, so you can you can tell us what's going on down there. Joe Pizzicano. 
Hi, so uh, it looks like they're just shoveling up the glass right over right over in the corner. Yeah. In the, in the far corner. And uh, they got the ladder out trying to get the spare, get the spare on board. <laughs> this is radio, so we should have pretended that you were down there talking to someone. <laughs> that would have, been a, it would have been a funny radio, uh, a radio play where you were talking live to someone who was cleaning up the glass. No, uh, Joe's, yeah, Joe's been working here uh, in his other job, so he's, uh, but he, now he, he said he was done, so we got him on the radio for a little bit while we're cleaning up glass, which is nice. Yeah. So, what do you think of the game so far, Joe? Uh, well, I, I've only gotten to see the second period, but I, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So, <laughs> so you far. haven't seen any goals? No, I haven't seen any of the goals. But I heard I was talking to some of my friends, and they said the Hallbauer goal was absolutely yeah, filthy. Yeah, it was a nice shot, and, so. they needed, and they needed it because it was at the end of a power play. Oh, uh, okay. There was 25 okay. seconds left in a major penalty, so that was a big goal, and obviously the, the first one tied the game. Uh, Nick Bowman's first career tally. First collegiate goal was a big one. Uh, right, it came two minutes after Colgate scored, so kind of a good answering goal for the engineers. Yeah, it's what they needed. And the power play goal came at uh, 16.02 of the second. That's where we are. Uh, we're 17 minutes left in the third period. We're hoping this one doesn't take as long as the last one, because when, the, when they broke the other pane, they everyone went back to the locker room and they resurfaced. Yeah, I, and I think when they broke the other pane, it was, the, it was just a small hole. The puck went through the glass, so they yeah. had to take the other one off, yeah. and then they had to put another one on. This one looks like the whole thing just shattered. It was shattered, right. So, so it might be a little quicker. I don't know how much, but a little <laughs> they bit. They still have to get the pane out. Yeah. The, the rest of the pieces out, and then get a new one in. And uh, yeah, so I guess it gives them a little bit of a breather. Looks like Shane Bear's doing a little bit of a dance on the side to try and keep his blood flowing, keep him right. Moving. That's that's the <laughs> that's a, a dance to the hockey gods to <laughs> not, not have the glass break anymore. <laughs> no, they're just trying to stay loose. That's the hardest thing right now is the guys, the the players. What do you do? You, you try to move around. You like I said, remember last time they did it, it wasn't that long ago, it was earlier this year, they they did a whole resurfacing, they just played an extra, whatever it was, two or three minutes that were left in the third period of the second. So it was essentially a, they played like two minutes and then they blew the horn and then they turned around and played the third period without a resurfacing. Yeah, switch the right. ice. Right, switch the ends, yeah. But at this point, you can't, obviously you can't do that, yeah, we're in the third period. Three minutes into the third, so. It's really the worst time if, if <laughs> you know, to break, to break the glass is early on in the period. Late in the period is, is fine, like I said, because they could do what they did last time. If it's late in the period, you just play the remainder of that period, and then you turn around and do it without a, a full resurfacing. But where it stands, you, you can't really take everyone off and resurface because it hasn't been enough time to be worth it. But at the same time, you, you know, you guys, guys, guys try to stay loose. Yeah, Whiffin here is talking, talking, to, the, talking to the ref, trying to yeah. maybe schmooze a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> They got plenty of folks on the cleanup, so that part's not uh, an issue. They have all the field house staff over there. Brian Darby's uh, very good crew. We got Jeff walking by. You coming up, Jeff? Does Jeff have information? Jeff, J Jeff, jump on. Thanks, 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 Joe. Jeff's got information. You can't go. You can't walk that far. Stand down below where, Je where Joe is standing. <laughs> We got Jeff Morris here. Is at the field. Is at the Time Union Center on Tuesday. Also has many other jobs. See you later, Joe. Joe's out of here. Uh, <laughs> Favorite more guests we around. Uh, Jeff's here, and uh, Jeff, what are you seeing or hearing from from down below? Well, Perry, this is uh, two times in <laughs> a year. A year after no times in about over 20 years. That's what I was going to say. I didn't know. I said nothing since I've been here. But you've been here longer than me, and you haven't seen this happen. No. No, I haven't seen. I wonder if they changed the manufacturers of the uh, panels this year or something. Well, also, you don't throw your skates into glass all that often either. That was a... Uh, yeah, quite a... Uh, just an awkward play down there. Good yeah. one. One of the very uh, few times I can jump on here because quite a large, uh, about a 15-minute intermission here. Unexpected. Yeah. Right. I got the our games longer and longer. Yeah. Well... I don't think we're going to get to the length of the uh, the Mayor's Cup, which was ended at 9.45. <laughs> or, yeah, 9.45, and it was a two, and a two hours and 45 minute game, which included a shootout. But uh, we're not touching that yet, although we, we could venture into the two and a half hour range here. Well, it's good to see physical play out of uh, both teams. Yeah. Clean physical play, and guys going hard to the net and hard in the corners. And, you know, I guess once in a while, every time 
somebody does that and, and they just got right beyond yeah. the partition where the seam glass was because if that was the seam glass where the Zamboni doors was you know that's just flexible and can, it might just bounce off yeah it's not as rigid as yeah. you know, that seamless transition as they're just patching it up right now yeah but that, I mean, the, other, the, other, the previous one was a shot, we want to say. The, earlier this year, it was a shot that just caught the glass funny and, like, put a hole in it. Yeah, about an inch from the top. And yeah. Probably, had, you could uh, argue that it's its weakest point up there. And sure. This one brings some science into it. Yeah. Right down at the bottom. Where there's just, actually, where there's just nowhere to go, there's no give there. So, if That's you look at point. the slow motion, yeah. Which yeah. we did quite extensively, you see yeah. that the uh, top of the glass exploded first. Oh, that's a good RPI. That's a good science experiment. And it just has, you know, the other portions have, just have nowhere to go. Right. A couple guys eating popcorn behind the glass, so I have to throw off the popcorn. Yeah, that's a, that's really the, the real travesty of this story. Because everybody else is fine. Yeah, just a little bit longer. He's, he's still eating his popcorn. I can see him doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got a new one. Yeah, he, they probably gave him a free one. They can see some folks over there. Anyway, Jeff, uh, Jeff stopped by, and it's time for him to go because we're about to go to live action. Yeah, there he goes. See you, Jeff. Jeff Morris and Joe Pisicano, our full range of staff here. Joe ran off. I don't know where he went, but uh, I guess he's not joining us for any more of this one. Anyway, you are listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. We're back to live action here at the Houston Fieldhouse. They've quickly made the repairs like a good uh, NASCAR team, and now Colgate trying to move it along. Tipped out to center and gathered up again by the Raiders. They have it there. Back into the offensive zone they come. Stood up by Johnson was McKechnie. And now the engineers carry back the other way. Three on two if they hurry. Morello flipping it near side for Whiffen. Whiffen takes a shot and a save is made by Benson. Back behind the goal it goes. Poked at by Whiffen. Shoveled on further. And now tipped to the near side corner. Kept in by the pinch of Ferner. And now moved out towards the line. Gathered up there and flipped back towards goal. Knocked out of the air. In the end by Brooks. Tie up in the far corner. Cosgrove had it stripped away. Goes back behind the goal. Snodgrass takes a whack from Whiffen. Whiffen feeds it back to the point. Ferner D to D along the blue line. Hallbauer wrist shot and a pad save made by Benson. Zeke back to the point. Hallbauer again. A knuckling shot that goes high and wide. Moore down low. Burgess stick handling. Feeds it into the middle, but nobody home. Except for Jeff Stewart. And he'll flip it back on out to center. Stewart shoots it into the near corner. RPI in. Under 16 minutes left, third period. Still 2-1 to one RPI. Ferner shoots it off the boards ahead for Moore. Going to the net, Burgess. Moore shooting! That one caught uh, Lawn right in the midsection. And it fell right to his skates. And he's able to move it out far side. Lawn back on it now. Chips it past Grant. Race for the puck. Bear leans into Penner. Puck around to the near side corner. Tommy Grant's there. Shots are 23-22 Colgate, but RPI's up by 1, 2-1. Two to one. Back to the Colgate end it goes. Mayer across for Austin. And now Austin working at far side. He'll fling it in. And we get a whistle. And a stoppage here. I think it's icing. It is. Icing on the Colgate Raiders. These two teams meet again. End of the month. February 23rd to Saturday in Hamilton. Face-off win. Back to the point. Laka for Bear. And his shot deflects up into the netting. We'll have another offensive zone draw for in the offensive zone for RPI. Face-offs in the period are even at four apiece. Raiders built a very strong edge in, in the draw department in that first period. And it's been just about 50-50 since the first. So give the engineers credit for that. It's tough to rebound from a 10-draw deficit after one. And they've kept it even since then. Here's McAvoy. Paul McAvoy up the near side. Broken up by the engineers right at the red line. Nearly throwing a hit there was Linden into Craig. And it's 
Going to be moved back by Scharf around to the far side. Panetta. Jacob Panetta shoots it in. Sticked away by Locke, uh, by excuse me, by Savory to the far side. And now Locke picks it up. Up the near wall from TJ Samick. Gone for Linden. Stolen away by Cosgrove. Makes a move. Far side connection. Marshall into the zone. Samick behind the cage. Left there. Locke. Going to move it up the far boards. Pinching in nicely Brooks. Hand off Sharf. Sharf walking in. Shot was blocked. Locke got in the way of that one. Now Riley. He'll work it up the boards for Linden. Nice connection through it off the foot of Bowman. I don't think he saw that pass right away. Now it's dumped back in. It's going to be icing on Colgate. And it'll send the face off back into Raiders territory with 13.56 to play. I want to remind you, you are listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. As <laughs> face off in the Raiders end one back it's actually poked along by Benson it came in front of him and gathered up and moved out by Cosgrove on the carry Trevor Cosgrove all the way in gathered up by Ferner up for Bowman has the RPI has RPI's first goal three engineers are offside here they'll have to touch up as Bowman and Lee went across the line a bit disjointedly, and now it's going to be fed in by the Raiders. Tie up along the near side boards. Played back towards the point. Austin waiting for it. Takes a shot. Gloved at. Shot comes in. It goes wide. It was Douda who just caught that one on a hop. Now it's off the side of the cage. Wrap around. No. Back to the point. Near side. Austin. He's met in pressure, and Bowman forces the puck out of the zone. Mayer ahead. Austin, good connection through center. Here he comes. He's tripped up a bit by Gornel. Gets back on the puck. Still possessing. Finally, it's tripped away. And a chance for the engineers to break. Three on two. Drop pass. Gornel walking in. Shot coming in a glove save by Benson. Bit of a slow developing three on two. Whiffin dropped it off for Gornel, who's... Uh, Still looking for that first RPI tally at three as a member of the North Dakota Fighting Hawks in his previous uh, two seasons. The junior transfer. We have a stoppage here, media timeout. Engineers holding on to a two to one lead thanks to goals from Nick Bowman and Kyle Halbauer, a couple of freshmen. Draw coming to the left of Benson. Shots even, 23 apiece. Raiders have it behind the goal. Panetta uses the net as a screen to get away from Whiffen, but is turned over at center ice. Morello gives it right back. Panetta, far side, flipped in deep by McKechnie. Behind the RPI goal. Wrapped to the near half wall, kept alive by Stewart. And now moved in deep. McKechnie, tight angle shot, and he fired it all the way through. Now Gornel on the carry to center. Try to feed it through legs. And offside here. And <laughs> had a collision away from the puck. Stewart and Whiffen went sprawling and. We're going to get a stoppage here. Final score, men's basketball. The engineers take out Union 69-66. That is nice. Austin. Back from Mayer. He'll stick handle his way in. Nice move. Mayer had a breakaway in the first. Now a shot comes in. Stopped by Savory. Loose to the far side of the net. Another jam try. No. Back to the point. Mayer. 
Tight angle shot blocked by his own man. That was Lund who was lying down in front of the goal. Lund again gets hit by Burgess. Trying to peel it away from there is Jeanson. Into the near corner they go. Lund. Stick handling lost it to Moore. His pass for Zeke hops over his stick. And Merrill moving along. Puck pinballs around in the neutral zone. Finally gathered up by the engineer. Mears Moore crosses the blue line. Try to drop pass. This is going to stay in the zone. Nice play. Shot behind for Moore. Mayer there. Back for Austin. He'll break out to center. Austin, far side, too far for the intended target. It's going to be icing on the Raiders. 11 14 to go. Shots are 24 23. Guy TV folks got a chance at that uh, shot. I'm not sure it got to Savory. That one surely did. The point blank try from Jeanson. Face off in the offensive zone. Laka trying to walk his way in. Spins off a check. Jumps back on it. Otto Vile Lepinen has his man tied up. Finally, it's going to be Mayer comes away with it. And now Austin, stick handling, shoots it in behind the goal, slowed up by Savory. Scharf gets run into. And it comes free to the near point. Now they cycle. Hallbauer, twisting and turning, lost it there. Raiders have been without Bob McMahon since early on in this uh, game. We're halfway through the first period. Five minute major in a game misconduct for hitting from behind. Now a shot comes in. Savory makes the stop and tipped up into his glove. He'll hold on there. An opportunity for Henry Marshall. And the Colgate Raiders. 10 24 to play, third period. Haven't had a goal since 1602 of the first period. Draw far side of the RPI zone. One back. Here's Craig. Raiders on the pressure. Puck in the far corner. Johnson trying to drag it out of there. Riley is just leaning on his man. And comes free to the point. Work back up the wall. Jake Johnson. He gets taken down. Penalty coming up. An offensive zone penalty. It's going to be a hook. And it's going to go on Evan Shumi. He just uh, got in poor possession behind Jake Johnson and took him down. I don't know why. But it's going to be a power play for the engineers. Their third of the game technically. With 9.59 to go in the third period. And I think they're going to do the, some ice maintenance here. And Shumi just got himself in a bad spot. Got his arm wrapped around Johnson and Johnson went down and they're going to make that call. And now Shumi's having some fun with the camera in the penalty box. It is funny to see, it is funny to see when opposing players come to the Houston Fieldhouse. I don't know of too many other college hockey rinks that have a camera in the penalty box and you always get some interesting reactions from the players who find themselves there and Shumi's reaction was to cover it with the butt end of his stick <laughs> there is Evan Shumi for those watching on RPI TV out of Calgary Alberta has a, as a sophomore he's got one goal and one assist in his career in 21 games no points so far in 12 games this year. Shots are 26 23 Colgate but RPI with a chance to add some insurance to their lead. Just short of a necessity at this point talking about college hockey. You always want to make it. Twice as hard to come back. Here's Riley walking in. Face mask save by Benson from the near circle. Riley walked all the way in. Now a pad stop on Riley. 
Flip back towards the point, glove down by Lapinen. Stumbles a bit, finds Riley. He'll fire it down low. All the way around it goes. Kept alive by Zeke, who gets dumped there by Mayer. Now Riley, all the way across for Zeke. Walking in, Arishan, he scores! Fire the arrow, Chase Zeke makes it 3-1 on the power play. His fifth goal of the season. They talked about RPI winning the power play battle. This is their second power play goal of the game, and that one an absolute ripper just inside the post. Nothing Benson could do about it. RPI got a big, big tying goal back in the first period from Nick Bowman. I said at the time it was just what the doctor ordered and whatever doctor the engineers have tonight ordering the right prescription for RPIs. They're up 3-1 to one now. Puck in the far corner of the engineer's end. Puck goes behind the cage. Lifted along, chopped at by Zeke, kept in by Brooks. Brooks trying to walk his way up the wall. Centering feed, broken up by Riley. It's a good thing he did. Man in the back door was pretty well open. Penner. Now walking in, another Time shot goes over the top. Raiders trying to answer in a hurry. Fed towards goal, loose in the slot. Backhand shot saved by Savory. Rebound Penner, and Savory makes another save. Oh my. Probably the best spell of the night for Colgate came the final, the first 30 seconds after that RPI goal. They were just peppering the RPI net. And a much needed stoppage there for Savory. Probably his biggest saves of the game. Your team just gave you a two-goal lead, and then you're forced right back into action. And boy, was he good over that stretch. Shot comes in, or dumped in by the engineers, I should say. Eight and a half to go third period. Now three to one engineers. Back to the point, a drive, top of the circle, Tommy Lee. He saw Nick Bowman get his first collegiate goal tonight, and he said, why not me? As he just stepped into one from the top of the circle, but it was right on goal, and Benson made the save. That should even the shots on goal tally in this one. Uh, that was a 27th. Well, it's 28-27, Colgate still. So RPI... Behind by one in that department. Now Morello, a tight angle shot, goes behind the goal. Whiffin turning it back into the corner. Still Whiffin trying to step through a check. Back to play it is Stewart. He'll move it out of play. Face off coming up in the Raiders zone. No change allowed. We had about a 10 to maybe 10 minute delay to fix some broken glass. At the now Colgate end, the uh, east end of the Houston Fieldhouse, for the second time this year, and speaking with Jeff Morris, who's been here longer than I have, he, had, he hadn't seen that happen before since he's been here. This is a shot from a tight angle, saved by Benson. Loose puck goes behind the goal. Now we have it twice in a year. Back to the near point. Bear, wrist shot blocked down by Snodgrass, and the puck is out to center. Tommy Grant's going to lift it back in. RPI working on a two-goal lead here with 7.45 to go, and the Colgate Raiders look to break out of their own zone. This is shot all the way down. It's going to be icing as uh, Raiders look a little bit discombobulated after that real good, I don't know, it was one shift or a shift and a half they had right after RPI took a 3-1 lead. They nearly made it a one-goal game again. Probably should have. Now for a couple of block shots and saves by Savory. Shots are even now at 28 apiece, I can say it and be right. Lifted along out to center and all the way down the ice. Kyle Hallbauer back to play. The uh, freshman from Howell, New Jersey, picked up goal number three on the season on the power play here tonight. He's trying to go coast to coast and he's shot off the glass. Lepinen along the near wall, cycling. Goes past Linden. 
Although Tour Linden battles his way back to steal it away. Laka centering. Linden on his backhand. He couldn't steer it on goal. And now it's moved out to center ice by the Raiders. Tyler Penner fires in from the blue line. Easily sticked away by Savory. Puck in the far corner of the RPI end. Gathered up Lepinen. He'll throw it off the glass to center. Glove down by Brooks. Quickly pressured there by Linden. Puck back into the uh, Colgate zone. Pressure from Laka as RPI changes behind him. Raiders move it to center ice. Up the boards. Here's Penner. Takes a couple of whacks from Moore. Shot comes in. Blocked down. Goes behind the cage. Todd Burgess picks it up there. The junior from Phoenix, Arizona. Long strides to center. Comes Burgess. On the move. Swept back out to center ice. And shot back in by Moore. Burgess has to touch up. And they do. But they'll allow Panetta to reset for Colgate here. 6.25 to play in the third. 3-1 to one is the RPI lead. Paul McAvoy on the carry. Far side neutral zone. Poked at by Moore. Pops back to Panetta. Near side Austin. Stolen away by Burgess. He tried to walk in and they're offside. He couldn't quite grab a handle of the puck. Burgess and Zeke was trying to time his way in. And by the time RPI uh, did not move the puck across the line, Zeke was already in there. And we get a stoppage here. And a draw coming at neutral ice. Face off shot in. It'll wrap around to the far side where it's kept in. Deflected in from Morello. And just off the pad and wide, I believe, on that chance. Gornel fighting for it behind the cage. Dowda over to pick it up far side of the Colgate end. He gets pressure and stolen away nearly by Morello, though it pops free to Dowda. Engineer's forecheck has been relentless here tonight. Puck into the zone, RPI's way. Back behind Savory. They battle for it. McKechnie tried to walk out in front but lost the puck. Back to the point he goes. Near point Austin. Wrists it off a skate. Picked up there by Gornel. He wants to move it out near side. RPI at the end of a shift. Morello is going to chase and he steals it away. RPI changing behind Jake Morello. He peels it back towards the top of the zone. RPI still changing its blue liners. As they worked in deep again. Good job to just delay there before they could get the shift completed. Coming up on five minutes to go in the third period. Three to one RPI on top of Colgate. Good connection to center ice. Here comes Scharf. He'll pull up at the half wall, get shoved over by Riley. And now Donovan Ott comes to help out. Off the glass towards center ice. Kept in nicely at the line. It'll be wrapped around to the far side. RPI looking to break to center ice. Tipped along and in deep by Lee. So no icing here. Cosgrove near side of his own zone spins away from some forecheck pressure of Bowman threw it back cross ice out of the reach of Panetta has to go backtrack behind the goal and reset shot still even 28 apiece but RPI has a two goal lead and now it's stripped away at center by Laka although he gave it right back into the zone comes Scharf trying to step around Grant Grant gives him the business and the puck goes behind the goal Tie it behind Savory. Still scrapping away. Finally comes out of there. Thrown off the back of the net. And Shane Bear trying to walk away with it. Couldn't. Rory McGuire. Behind for Scharf in the far corner. Now back to the far point. Near point Austin. He makes a nice move. Trying to get around Bowman. All the way in. A shot. And that one might have caught a piece of the iron as it went wide. Good chance for the Raiders. As Nick Austin. Showing off his offensive zone skills. Has a couple of goals and eight assists this year, Austin does. The sophomore out of St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Will work it down the middle. Near side connection. Well, past Penner. And icing, they say, never touched him. 3.28 to go, third period. Engineers on top, 3-1. to one. And I think we're going to get one more media stop at Chero. I might be wrong. No, nope, I am wrong. Maybe they did away with it when they decided to fix broken glass for 10 minutes. I guess they didn't decide to do that. They had to. Three twenty-seven to go. Face off in the Colgate zone. RPI trailed 1-0 in this game. They've scored three straight times to take a 3-1 lead. Burgess letting it run. He'll try to kick it to himself behind the goal. 
Nice move by Burgess to get loose. Back to the point for Johnson. Johnson, far point, thought about his shot. Now Riley wrists one wide. Jam try in front. Zeke threw a backhand on goal, and it was sticked away in the end. Nice play by Zeke to find Riley. Top of the far circle, redirected on goal. What a redirection by Burgess, and the equal was the save by Benson. A wicked redirection, and somehow Benson stayed in front of it. Now Burgess carries around the behind the goal. He's had some game. Shot off the end wall by Riley. And it pops to the far side. It'll be picked up by Jeanson. All the way in it goes. Riley back to pick it up. And you're without your top point getter, your top assist man, Jacob Hayers, top faceoff guy. And you have a Todd Burgess who's been taking some draws, but it's really stepped up in this game. Now a shot over the top by McKechnie. 227 left. Puck in the far corner. McKechnie back to the point. Moved up by Panetta. He'll ring this one around. Whiffin steals it away. Chips it off the end boards. Trying to get there. Can't get through Snodgrass. Lifted around behind by Gornel. Lifted in the air. Out to center. Glove down by Crossgrove at center. He'll go D to D in his own zone for Panetta. Panetta on the carry. Far side. Lifts it into the RPI zone. He'll try and chase after it himself. Riley lifts it behind the goal. Snodgrass there to intercept. McKechnie back to the point. Cosgrove holding. Tries a spin move. Get away from Whiffen. Turns back towards the point. Runs out of room and just lifts it in deep. Back behind the goal it goes. Snodgrass there. Has Stewart with him. Tried to give it to him. Stolen away by Riley. Gornel trying to be a bit tricky with that pass. Ends up just carrying out himself. Finds Morello. Lifts it in. Minute and a half to go third period. Our guy up three to one. Looking for win number eight on the season. Will be their fifth league win as well. Left behind the goal. Froner going to try and leave it near side. Lepin it up the boards. Glove down by Linden. He can't. No, he does get it out of the zone. That's enough as far as the engineer is concerned at this point. Right back in it comes far side. Cross corner dump to the near side. Sharp's going to ring it around to the far. McAvoy. Stripped away by Lappin, and he'll clear the center. One minute to go in the third period, and we haven't seen Mitch Benson budge, and now he won't because Lappin with a steal in front. Donovan on a shot right on, and he nearly made it four. As Benson able to make the stop on Ott, and again, the RPI forecheck pressure, even when it's not forcing turnovers like that, it's been relentless and really causing trouble here for these Raiders. And it starts with that Lepinen group. As Austin got worked over there and gave it away for a chance. There's a clean win on the draw for RPI. They'll filter it down low with 48 seconds to play. Raiders look to break to center ice. Falling down was Marshall. And then Zeke threw it right into him. Puck goes in deep anyway. Here's Panetta. 35 seconds to go in the third. Panetta on the carry. He'll move it along for Snodgrass. Into the RPI zone. Flicked out to center by Whiffen on the backhand. 25 seconds to go. Cosgrove through the neutral zone. Panetta's going to ring it in. Wrapped around to the near corner. Snodgrass waiting for it there. Trying to center. Intercepted by uh, Ferner. And, or excuse me, Gordon and cleared. Not out of the zone. Kept in Cosgrove. 10 seconds to go in the period. Colgate not even bothering to pull Benson. As this will be icing, and we get one more face-off coming up here. Right after this one, I know it's late. I'll run down the scoring and get my offensive and defensive engineers to you in a timely manner. With 4.4 seconds, engineers can safely say they're going to improve to 8, 17, and 1, 5, 9, and 0 in the league. Colgate's going to drop to 7, 16, and 2, 4, 6, or 4, 7, and 2 in ECAC hockey play. As they're going to drop this puck. Now the net's empty with 4.4. And we get a couple of centermen tossed from the faceoff, Don. Why not? Faceoff here. Pushed along. Two seconds and one. Is there a chance? Linden! Hits the post. I don't think it would have gone in. I don't think it would have counted. Tour Linden <laughs> took a shot. He does have an empty netter here this year, mind you. One of his two career goals is an empty netter in this building. Anyway, RPI wins it 3-1. 
Shots with 31 29 engineers. So another good sign there as they continue to outshoot the opposition. I think three of the last four, four of the last five, they've outshot the opponents recently, other than that Union game. Anyway, here's the scoring for you. Colgate scored the game's first goal at 5.54 the first period on the power play. Trevor Cosgrove is fifth of the year from Bobby McMahon and Nick Austin. Hart guy tied it up just under two minutes later, 7.47 of the first. Nick Bowman's first collegiate goal from Tommy Lee and Shane Bear. Guy then made it a uh, two-to-one game at 16:02 the first period. A power play tally. Right at the end of that five-minute major, Kyle Hallbauer scoring his third of the year from Mike Cornell and Todd Burgess. And then a power play tally at 10:32 of the third. Chase Seeky with assists to somebody. We'll get those to you. Uh, look on the internet. Offensive and defensive engineers of the game. Offensively, we're gonna go. With Todd Burgess, I thought he was the best player on the ice for RPI. Uh, he'll be my offensive engineer. The game did have an assist. Defensive engineer of the game. We will give it to. Uh, we'll give it to Sabre. 28 stops again. He gave up just the one goal. Made some big shorthanded saves. And uh, they're going Sabre, who picks up his third RPI victory. In goal, making 28 stops. Mitch Benson, the loser, made 28 saves at the other end. I'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides funding for WRPI and all the club related activity of the institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. A reminder WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org. You can pick up our broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so long as WRPI is broadcasting. We'll provide that broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that's WRPI.org. Like to thank DJ Scooter back at the station for getting us on the air and keeping us there. Our next WRPI Sports broadcast tomorrow night, 645 pregame, 7 o'clock puck drop against the 13th ranked Cornell Big Red. That'll do it for us here at the Houston Fieldhouse. I want to thank you all for listening to tonight's game. However you took it in on WRPI or simulcast on RPI TV, your final score was RPI 3 and Colgate 1. You've been listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy.